So my review of the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 is coming really soon but this foldable device which is a phone cum tablet can do a lot of cool things. Especially since there are features from Android 12 L that have been used on the inner tablet display of the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4, I really wanted to share a few tips, tricks and how to and of course hidden features that will enhance your user experience of using this device. And even if you don't own a Galaxy Z Fold 4 or if you own one of the older Galaxy you know, Z Fold devices, this video could be helpful for you and even if you don't own one at all, even then it will let you know what kind of cool things can you can do with such a cool form factor. And you know what, I've actually used this folding form factor extensively since the first Z Fold came out, so I have a lot to share with you guys. Before we move on, if you don't know me yet, I'm Ashad, you're watching Track and Tech English, let's begin. All right, so the first tip that I wanna talk about is the fact that you get Android 12L's taskbar with uh, you know the Galaxy Z Fold 4's latest One UI software. Now this taskbar has a list of all the apps that you can find useful and you also get a direct access to the app drawer from uh, you know the taskbar itself which means that you can access every single app that's in your phone and open them directly from here itself. Now what if you wanted to hide the taskbar? All you need to do is long press on any empty area of the taskbar and it'll hide itself. But remember that this is a feature that you will have to switch on from the settings itself. You go into taskbar and you'll see that you know there are toggles for switching off uh, you know switching on and off the show and hide with touch and hold feature now if you don't want to see the taskbar at all because you want that full screen view for your app then what you need to do is head into settings head into display and from there itself you can see that uh, from the taskbar option you can just switch it off and the taskbar just goes away also you must stay tuned till the end of the video because I want to share one specific good news about the Galaxy Z Fold 4 from my testing now here's the thing you must be wondering what if you're on an older generation Galaxy Z Fold device then there is a high possibility that Samsung might bring the Android 12 L taskbar to all older uh, you know fold devices with the One UI 4.1.1 update but you'll have to wait and watch if that actually happens. But the coolest feature is that you can pick up any app from the taskbar and put it in a multi-window view it looks damn cool. So now I have settings out here and if I want Chrome in a split screen view all, in, all I need to do is long press the icon and drop it wherever I want to whether I want it horizontally or whether I want it vertically so I'll let me do it horizontally. So this is what it looks like. Now, if you want, you can also have three apps. That's the max you can get uh, in this multi-window view, by the way. So there are three apps at the moment in multi-window view. But apart from these multi-window apps, you can also have floating windows on top of these you know, apps that are already in split screen view. So all you need to do is hold the icon, take it to the center and drop it. There's one multi-window. If I want more, I can do the same again by dragging and dropping once again. So you can add more floating windows on top of this. These are way too many apps on this tiny screen, but then again, you can do it. It's possible. Thanks to Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. You can also move these windows at your will. All you need to do is long press that bar at the top and there you go. You can move this around like this. It's as simple as that. Now, apart from this, you can also change the size of these windows as well, which makes it easier for you to view more of the content on a certain app that you want to view more of. But certain apps do not work well in multi-window view or floating window view. For that, you need to enable an option and I'll show you exactly what you need to do. So you head into settings, then you head into advanced features that you can see out here, head into labs and you have to toggle the option multi-window for all apps and it'll work with every single app that's there on your phone including games. Now one very interesting feature of course that I showcased is floating windows but did you know that floating windows have further you know enhancements on top of it as well? I'm putting this Twitter app in a floating window view. Now if I just touch the bar out here it'll show you all the bunch of options. You can close the floating window, you can make it full size, you can shrink it. You can also increase or decrease the transparency which kind of is a very cool feature if you ask me and you can also directly get into a split screen view with the app that's open behind it directly from that you know menu itself now if you like the kind of content that we make don't forget to hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it to get notified whenever we put out an awesome new tech video also if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button and maybe even comment below for the sake of the youtube algorithm now you might have noticed one thing since you have a larger screen estate on the inner tablet display certain apps will come in a view where you get a 
split screen view where you know one uh, side of the app has all the menu and the other side has all the detailed information for example in the settings app that samsung makes you can see this option available now what if you didn't want that you wanted a standard view where the app takes up the entire uh, you know display as a tablet itself i don't know why you'd want to do that but if you wanted to do it you need to head into display you need to head into screen layout and zoom and you can just switch to the standard view and you'll see that voila now you guys are aware that of course there is a cover screen on the front which looks like a phone a very tall phone and then there is a tablet display on the rear now you can also mirror uh, your cover screen display to the tablet display all you need to do is long press on anywhere on the home screen head into settings and then you have to switch on cover screen mirroring on so what that will do as you can see right now is that it's actually removed the widget because that widget was panning across the entire display so i'll just add one of these widgets quickly and as you can see right now on my home screen of the tablet there is a split and when i move to the cover display right now you'll notice that that split screen has turned into two home screens now one very interesting feature that I saw was this brief pop-up setting with edge lighting. It looks kind of cool. I'll show you how you how to sort of switch that on. So obviously you have to head into settings for every single function that you need to switch on. Head into notifications and then you'll go to brief pop-up settings. You'll see this edge lighting style and from here you can uh, you know modify however uh, you know you want it to look. For example, I have this spotlight one. I want to change the color so I can do that as well. So now whenever a notification drops, it'll come in this nice orangish color or this lemon yellow color if I want that as well. I'm cool. Now certain apps are not optimized for the inner tablet display and they are only optimized for phone display. For example, Instagram, which is again not optimized for iPad either. So you'll see that you now get this option where you can actually move it to the left or the right. So if you're holding it in the left hand or the right hand, you can uh, you know easily sc scroll through Instagram uh, with just holding it with one hand. Apart from this, you also get this option where you can tap at the bottom and it'll take you directly to this settings page where you can just hit it and hit full screen and you know, Instagram will go into full screen the next time you open it. Which I'm not really a fan of because then, you know, the aspect ratios become entirely warped. Now, there's also an under display camera on the, you know, Galaxy Z Fold 4, but the quality of which is definitely not that great. But you know what? You can use the cover screen as a preview for, uh, you know, the rear camera itself, which means that you can actually take a selfie of yourself with the primary camera, that 50 megapixel primary camera. You can also use it in ultrawide. How cool is that? Another interesting thing that I noticed with the camera app is that when you actually zoom beyond 20x, uh, let me show you guys, you can see the larger chunk of the image being captured so that you can frame it better on the left side of the display itself, which I think is pretty useful. But then again, don't go beyond 20x on this phone because digital zoom generally compresses the image a lot. So I don't see a practical use case for it anyway. Now I'm coming to the lab features, which is the place where Samsung tests some features before it makes it live in the final build, depending on what feedback it gets from its uh, you know users who are using these features. So one thing I definitely want to highlight is the fact that I really like this specific feature where you can show multi-window menu with just one window. What that uh, enables you is basically you get this uh, handle at the top, tap on that handle and immediately you can put it in a multi-window view or in a, you know, a floating view, whatever you prefer. It's as simple as that. Now there are a couple of other features within the lab settings itself that I want to quickly highlight. Head into advanced features, labs, and you will see that there is a swipe for a pop-up view. So basically you can just swipe from the top right corner and it'll immediately put it into a pop-up view, which is again, very useful. And you can also swipe with two fingers from the left of the display to put it in split screen view simple now one of the best new feature additions that samsung did with the galaxy z fold 3 is when it added support for the s pen on the inner tablet display of that device and you know what you can use the s pen with the z fold 4's inner tablet display as well unfortunately not on the outer display but there is this very cool feature that i want to talk to you guys about is that on any search uh, you know bar where you're searching for a particular thing you can just write with your own handwriting and it'll start searching that particular app immediately. For example, I'm doing that in the app drawer, so it's as simple as that. Now this feature, of course, also works with the S Pen on the S22 Ultra. So yes, you should definitely try it out. Now let me talk about the hidden features or the hidden aspects of using Samsung Galaxy devices, where all you need to do is download an app called GoodLock. So if you are a Samsung user and if your uh, you know, phone supports GoodLock, you must install that app. It gives you a lot of extra productivity features that you will find very, very useful. For example, 
example, one of my favorite, uh, you know, good luck apps uh, or modules is the Pentastic module. Now, once you click on it, now of course, if you uh, you need to have a device that supports the S Pen itself, you can change the way the pointer looks. How cool is that? Look at this. It looks like a little tiny heart right now. Ah, this is damn cute. In fact, you can also have it, uh, you know, custom image as well. Apart from that, the contextual menu that opens up whenever you use the S Pen, that can also look different. Now, for example, I've used this circle one. Now, if you want this retro S Pen style, you can use that as well. So now when I click on this, you'll see that the retro, uh, you know, S Pen command opens up. Pretty useful. Now that's not it on Good Labs. You also have other cool modules. For example, Multistar uh, is a really cool module where you have specific, uh, you know, features for foldable devices. For example, when you go into I Love Galaxy Foldable, you'll see that you can have your under display camera in black. The other really cool feature within Multistar is the fact that you can actually open, uh, you know, apps in full screen when you're unfolding the device. This is not something that happens by default. This is something that you have to set from here. So say, for example, if I want uh, the Amazon app to open in full screen from, uh, you know, when I'm moving from the outer screen to the inner screen, then I can do that directly from here. Now, coming to features that are not necessarily exclusive to the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4, but really cool nonetheless. So let me show you Bixby routines. Now in Bixby routines, you can have very basic routines that you can set for yourself. For example, I have an Apex DND &D right now set. What that means is that whenever Apex Legends starts, is a game that I love playing, it goes into do not disturb mode. It's very similar to what you can do with Apple's shortcuts and if this then that, if you've uh, used that app, it used to be a very famous app, uh, you know, back in the day. Now talking about gaming, there is this really, really cool app within Samsung store called Game Plugin. Now, once you see the Game Plugin app, it's extremely useful and almost akin to cheating primarily because you have these extra modules like Aim Assist, Game Booster Plus, Game Clock, all of this. But what I love the most is Perf Z. What it does is within a game itself, it gives you the option to monitor how much of the GPU is being used, how much of the CPU is being used, and what is the current frame rates that are you know playing on the screen right now, which is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, so for the ultimate productivity experience, you can actually use a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse with your Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4. So yeah, so if you want to use just one device for all your work, you can do that. In fact, I can also use the scroll wheel to actually move through the app drawer itself. How cool is that? So yeah, I write a lot of my scripts, so I'm quickly gonna open Docs and open one of the scripts. Actually, no, I'll open a new document. Another really cool feature that I really like about uh, Galaxy devices is that you can actually pin apps for security. I'll show you what that means. Then you head into biometrics and security, then other security settings. Then you have to switch on this toggle, which shows you the option to actually pin the windows. Now, also remember to ask for pattern before unpinning because then, you know, I'll show you something, what happens exactly. Uh, open the recents menu, tap on the icon itself and pin this app. And you can see that if you want to unpin this app, you have to swipe up and hold. So what this enables you to do is that essentially if you hand over your phone to a friend or a family member, and if you just want them to see that specific app, then you know, you can pin that app and they won't be able to do anything else apart from it. So now it's pinned on the settings app, like you can see. To unpin the app, uh, since I'm using gestures, you'll have to long swipe up and hold like this, and then it'll go into the lock screen mode, and then you'll have to sort of like, you know, unlock the phone to actually get into the phone, which I'm presuming that your friend or family member will not have an idea of what the password is. Another really cool feature, again, not limited to Galaxy Z Fold devices, is the fact that you can directly take, uh, you know, Bixby dictation once you are inside any note. Let me show you this. So all I need to do is long press the, you know, uh, side key and then start talking continuously to for Bixby to start taking notes immediately. Of course, it's not the best, but it works. Now for the final tip, now this is not exclusive to Galaxy Z Fold devices. This is a tip that will enhance your, you know, battery life on the, uh, any phone that you're using. Essentially, you need to go into the battery uh, settings of the settings app. And from here you hit uh, automation. And from here you'll see that there's a toggle to switch on adaptive power saving. What this means is that the phone starts learning a usage and immediately puts, uh, you know, the phone into power saving mode whenever it sees that you don't require as much power and the battery life is further enhanced. And like I mentioned from the start, I had one good news that I wanted to share about the Galaxy Z Fold 4 from the review itself. And that is the fact that the Galaxy Z Fold 4 has great battery life. The Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1, uh, you 
zero power optimizations are fantastic and i'm getting close to seven hours of screen on time now for more about the battery and the battery performance you have to stay tuned to my review and this was my detailed very long uh, you know tips and tricks video on the galaxy z fold 4 if you guys liked it don't forget to hit the like button and maybe even comment below for the sake of the youtube algorithm until next time this is ashad signing off keep tracking and stay safe Thank you.